bottlezine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we've got a bottle of beer from Green Flash in San Diego, California. It is their 30th Street Pale Ale, 6% ABV, Hot Driven Warrior Cascade and Eldorado. It's part of their Hop Odyssey their range, which is their kind of like uh, occasional brews, I guess. This um, so it celebrates the Craft Beer Corridor, San Diego's Craft Beer Corridor. There is three. I've just been looking on the map. So I've been over, I've been to the brewery. I mean, it's quite close to a lot of other breweries. I've been loads actually. Like Ale Smith, um, um, Hess, um, Society. There's loads nearby. I'm gonna pour as much as this as possible because it is a bulk condition beer, and I don't want to waste any. Bear with me a second. Not going to be great for getting a row though. Yeah, there's only a little bit left in that. But hopefully it'll be jumping out of the bowl. So, beer in the glass. Perfect kind of pale ale looking beer. You mean gold. Perfect. Nice kind of slightly off white head. So let's check out the aroma. Oh, that's amazing. I'm going to sniff the bottle as well. I get a real nice herbal thing. I'm gonna. It's a combination of lovely things like thyme and basil. Then there's a lovely, really vibrant um, sherbet thing going on as well, which is for me, oh, really lovely orange and grapefruit and lemon. That smells amazing. Wow. Wish I had a better glass for the aroma, but let's try the bottle. Ryan will be <laughs> Ryan will be laughing at this one. <laughs> Ryan, this sniff from the bottle's all for you, mate. But this is what happens. You get a big, big, big ball. It's bottle conditioned. You know what I mean? You've got to make the best of it. <laughs> oh, that smells great. It smells in the bottle. It smells just like a handful of fresh hops. Not getting a load out of it, to be honest. But more kind of melon, lovely. Sweet orange, I'm absolutely salivating at the prospect of this beer. Oh yeah, that smells like hops that you just put in, just put in your boil. Mmm, smells absolutely incredible, just perfect American Pale Ale so far. I'll come back to that if I remember, but I want to dive in, I'm absolutely salivating at the prospect of this beer. Let's dive in, cheers. That's magnificent. <laughs> Got a full pint of it. <laughs> a full proper pint to it. Oh man. Mm. Lovely biting hop character as you'd expect. Nicely balanced though, absolutely perfectly balanced. Mm. Big grapefruit, big pithy orange. Juicy orange, fleshy lemon, definitely a load of fresh evergreen pine, uber fresh. Not dank, not kind of um, musty, it's just super fresh evergreen. Mm. Yeah, loads of zest, I'm going to go primarily with le lime zest, just that fresh, <laughs> actually just, just zest in that lime. Oh. Because when you do it, I, I was doing this yesterday with a lemon, I was zesting a lemon with a proper zester. And it just le it just lets off a like a mist of um kind of of zest. It's incredible. Mm. So there's oils popping out. Fires of malt goes, oh that's so good. There's a nice actually, there's a nice amount of uh, brown sugar. Nice amount of caramel, hint of um, kind of Madeira cake, something like that. Nice sweet vanilla sponge kind of thing. Mm. That is so good. That's one of the best beers I've had in a long time. 
goodness me, perfectly balanced. Obviously, it's edging towards IPA. A lot of people will say this would be IPA in a lot of countries, especially not in San Diego, though. Obviously, Green Flash, uh, one of the icons of uh, West Coast IPA with their West Coast IPA. But this is right up there with that. You can see some kind of connection to West Coast IPA. And I wish I had a bottle of that. To, uh, is, I don't know how fresh this is, but it tastes damn fresh. At the back end. But I'd like to see the comparison between those two. If there isn't much, much difference, I'd say West Coast IPA might be a little bit, a little bit sweeter. But this is beautiful. The back end, floral, bitter again, pine, grapefruit, big, sharp grapefruit. Once again, balanced out with a nice amount of sweetness. Ugh. Wow, that is fantastic. Best beer I've had all week, without a doubt. I've been to Great British Beer Festival three days in London, and this is the beer. And I'm back home on the weekend. Best beer I've had all week. Best beer I've had in quite some time. Why is it bold condition? I want that little bit of the bod, god damn it. Anyway, excuse me, <clears throat> nice <and> carbonated. <laughs> Oh, let's get back some more aroma. Remember. Give it a swirl and stiff. Yeah. Maybe on the nose, you're definitely getting a lot of grapefruit. I'm going to say, nice amount of kind of quite sugary, brown sugar note in there, caramel, pine. It's definitely what we get in the mouth, but I'd say it's sweeter on the nose. Definitely getting a lot of that caramel. And pine, grapefruit, maybe a bit of kind of cantaloupe melon as well. But yeah, wow. Well, anyway, I don't want to forget about the. That said, I come back to the um, aroma. I will leave this to settle. I will try and get every little dreg of this without pulling off too much sediment because this is incredible. And that is a bottle of Green Flash 30th Street Pale Ale, part of their hop. Odyssey series, a 6% ABV, um, American Pale Ale, only 45 IBUs, fair enough, you I mean it is a crushing beer, that is absolutely stonking though, hopped with, it says, it says it's fruity and floral, it's all these details on the back, hopped with Warrior, Cascade and Eldorado, wow, seriously, good stuff, if you are in the San Diego area and this is still available, this is incredible stuff. Check it out, you will not regret it. I'm Rob from Hopscene.com. Beers like this don't come around every day, but I'm glad it has. See you next time. Cheers.